Hey guys, this is my build series on this True Beauty. I'm going to start on AFV Club kit number AF35083, German half track 251 22, also the pack wagon. You notice that this is first edition only for special parts. Basic, basically, what it's saying is I believe it's like the first so many kits of this production, they just added a resin figure. That's basically the only difference between this and a regular box version. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we get inside the box. Good old vinyl tracks. The wheels and road wheels. Resin figures, lower hole, as well as the pack mount, lower hole, got the upper hull, the sides, and the rear. You got the sprockets and axles. You got this fine looking PE gun shield with the PE mounts. You got tools. Metal barrel, which is always awesome. Pack gun parts. Crew serve weapons, and then more interior parts. And of course, you got the extraction sheet. Okay, before I start telling you about my planning on the on this kit and everything, I forgot to show you the decals. I don't know why I forgot, but I did. Notice it does not come with any dashboard decals you have to paint them all by hand I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not I may just use the decals or I just may paint it. I don't know we'll see so let's go ahead and talk about the planning stages of it you always want to do your research first review and study the instructions go online always recommend go online and look up build reviews and see what People have to say about it. Does it have fit issues? Is it missing extra detail that can make it more accurate? Uh, what else? Look at old wartime photos and see if you can add exterior storage, interior storage, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to do. So here's a little insight of what I'm going to be doing. Basically, it's going to be three parts. Upper hull, lower hull, the pack gun. So everything would build, everything separate. Paint the interior of the hat track. Interior upper hull, interior lower hull. And then paint the main gun. And then that paint detailed, add whatever I need to add in there. Um weather on the inside make it as much as realistic looking as possible and then I will go ahead and attach the upper hall and lower hall together build all the parts I need to build on the exterior once I do that I will tape up and seal up the interior paint the exterior paint the road wheel separate paint the track separate paint the road wheel or excuse me wheel separate once that's complete, I'll do the camel on it. And then I would paint the tools separate. I always do for some reason. I may actually use Dragon's tools because they're actually a lot more detailed than these tools in here. You know, I do have like a lot of extras, especially for hat tracks, because like I said, I've always had bad luck with them. I seem to well, you know, Dragon seemed like it's a lot more complicated than normal, so I figured I might try AFV Club and see if that's a little simpler. Once that's complete, I'll 
add everything, the tools, the wheels, the road wheel, the tracks, and then future it, decal it, future it again, weather it, dull coat it, and then put pigments on it, and then hopefully I'll make a complete and accurate model, at least I hope it noise. So let's go ahead and see what I'm, I'm going to do with this. First thing I always do is try to pick out whatever unit I'm going to do. Either the kit itself or I find it at the market decals and, and if I'm not liking the unit here. But for this instance I'm going to do the A. I kind of like it. Very simple to do I think. After that, I will tell you now what's wrong with this kit that what I read so far. Two issues, two issues only. One with the pack gun, it doesn't come with the left side railing protecting uh, of the gun. I'm basically going to use extra parts from Dragon and just attach it to the left side of the gun. So no problem. Or you could scratch build it, but I'm not gonna, you know, waste my time and try to make that thing look perfect and everything. So I might as well just take extra parts that I have and I don't have to sweat about it. Another thing is it's missing four parts for the side periscopes. So On this kit here, what I've read, on step 10, uh, TA9 and D28 are supposed to be installed on the side there. Unfortunately for this kit that I'm building, it only comes one sprue and not two. And so I haven't decided whether or not if it's going to be noticeable once you put the main gun and everything in. Or if it is, I need to add it on there. And if you could tell that's if it if it's in there, then I'm gonna have to find if see if I have to find a spare part from Dragon. Another thing that I noticed that it doesn't tell you in here, with all these markings in here of where certain places you're supposed to be attaching. Excuse me, not that one. Sorry guys, I'm an idiot. Here I'm going to have to shave off in order to make the part fit better so it won't be cocky, cockeyed, excuse me, such as this part here, these two, that will be gone. On the other side, same thing, but you can't see it. I'm not adding the antenna. Most wartime pictures I've seen doesn't even have it, so it doesn't even come with the radio either, so I'm not going to be worried about it. So that's that's not going to be added. Two things that I'm going to add as far as out the mark is concerned. Screw with the vinyl tracks. I'm going to use these frill tracks. I like it better. I like the weight, the feel of it. I don't know. Just call me picky, I guess. So I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to be using this. Brass shield bolts. Basically, I show you here is here it's where you add all the bolts to the pack gun on the underside um, let me show you the reason why the sprue is not that bad actually but if you notice here right here it's too freaking small all right I'm freaking old, okay, not that old, but old enough, and I'm not going to sit there and try to clean every freaking small little detail on those little bolts. So, I figured I'll cheat and use this, and plus they provide a lot more better detail, a lot more sharper, than, in my opinion. So, very easy to do, and I'm hoping that it's going to look good, anyways.
Anyways, that's it for what I'm planning for this kit. It's, it sounds a whole lot, but hopefully it's not. So, um, look out for the, um, the first build series, which I'm just going to do, like I said, the, the three parts. And then after that, it will be painting of the interior and so on and so forth. So, continue to look out for this build series. Um, if you have any comments or or advice to give me, please uh, post it in the comments below. I hope you guys have an outstanding day. Build on my friends and keep on modeling.